So here we are at the last video in this series on making a promotional banner image for a website. Um, we've learned loads of different skills of combining different images together, getting some uh, Creative Commons assets from the web, uh, putting text in, adding effects, doing different layers. So much you've learned in this tutorial series. Uh, but one last thing remains. Before we can show this on the web, we need to export the file in a format that's ready for the web. Because so far we've been saving this as a Photo Plus project, which can only be opened by other people with Photo Plus, um, which isn't that many. It's not a very common application. So we need to change or export this file in a format that can load up in all of the world's web browsers. And there are two really good formats for that. This is a bitmap image. So we probably want to use either a JPEG image or a PNG image when we export this. So to do that, make sure you've saved your work and then go to file and export and in the export optimizer window that appears you'll see a range of different formats that you can choose from under under the uh, properties window there's bmp but no one really uses that anymore uh, gifs wouldn't be appropriate because they don't have enough um, color depth for our full color image jp2000 is pretty out of date, no one uses that. JPEG's an okay option. PNG's a good option. Photoshop, not so good for the web because again, it's A, it's a big file, but also people don't, uh, not everyone has Photoshop. Uh, TIFFs are uncompressed, so that'll be a large file. So really we want either uh, PNG, which gives us a, a lossless compression, or JPEG, which gives us a bit of a lossy compression. My personal preference in the modern day of broadband where we can afford that slightly larger file size is always PNG. So I'm gonna grab PNG and it gives you a preview of what the image looks like. So it looks just like we'd want it to. Um, if we had a, a, an image with some transparency, we might need to increase the bit depth, um, but our one has no transparency, so we can reduce the bit depth, which will save us a bit of file size. And it gives you an estimate of the size of the file up here. You can see it's a 530 kilobyte file, which is which is okay. It's a bit large. Um, if we'd chosen JPEG, uh, it would be substantially smaller at uh, only 105 kilobytes. But sometimes the text can look a bit smudgy and it doesn't scale that, that well. So I'm still going to go for a PNG file. But you might decide that if you've got lots of these on your... Um, on your web page that your customers might think mm, they're not going to wait a long time for things to load we would better go for a, fo a smaller file size but anyway once you've chosen your file format you've got your options checked you're happy that it's looking as you want it to and you've checked your file size as appropriate then you just need to press the export button and choose somewhere to save it so maybe go into your promo banner folder and give it a, a file name this is a 960 by 400 pixels. And I like to add that on the end so that I can easily, uh, I easily can reference that and I know how much space to leave in my websites to have, uh, to, to sort of slot this in. But um, it will give you the right file type automatically. So then you just press save. And to check it's worked, you can just go to your folders, go to your Super Splash project, to your promo banner folder, and that's the exporter file we've just made. If I double click on it, it opens up in the Windows Photo Viewer and you can see there's my image uh, all ready to go nicely into a website. 